Hey everyone, Indulger here, back again with another Fire Emblem Heroes video. Today we've got for you Eat the Raids Day 7. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos. Alright, we've got one defense to go over, some mock battles, today's offensive fights, plural. We've got some news, we've got some summoning. We're just a jam packed, we're gonna have a jam packed day. So let's get right into it. Well, Iced Flash here is probably gonna be my rematch because I don't have anything else to that looks easy and when you have no ladders for the week you kind of want to have an easy fight we haven't lost any ether the entire week so if we did manage to squander the first fight and lose it we can at least try again it would be 250 fights This person has gone with a Nino. Pretty effective. I don't think anything that's left is going to be able to stop her. Tina actually baits Gunthra and the Dancer. You were in vantage range at that point, Nino? Were you really? Okay. Pretty easy clear, Ice Flash. Good job. He made that look real easy. <clears throat> Speaking of making it look easy, I don't know. We're going to try to beat them, but I mean, this just tells me it's going to be a beast team, which means it's going to be a Tiburon team, which means I'm probably going to lose. But uh, Ice Flash is probably going to get the rematch for the second fight, if, if we can make it that far. Otherwise, we're going to have to fight this team, which is a Vantage Infantry Pulse. Do you want to, would you rather fight that? Or would you rather fight a Duma where this person has a plus seven Naga, which I assume that means they're not stupid. <laughs> they know what they're doing and they actually care about AR. Or this person who clearly knows what they're doing. They've got a Wagasa, a Fortress Def 1. I mean, you tell me. You tell me which rematch I'm supposed to do to this week because they're all pretty hard. They look pretty hard. And if I go into the details, you'll see that they have plus ten Nagas. Just a lot of whale activity. Maybe not necessarily a whale. Maybe a dolphin. Maybe someone who just really likes AR. Who knows? But it's not going to be easy today. But before we get there, let's do some mock battling. If you want to be a part of my mock battle series, all you got to do is leave me a comment with your in-game name. Find my friend code in the video description. And we'll get you scheduled on either light or anima season. We're going to fight MB. MB has made a fun little boss team, which this reminds me of a couple weeks back where I found something very similar. I believe it was, was it, was it Fjorm? Maybe that was the fight we fought uh, on public. The fight we fought. I hope you're here for the riveting commentary. We got an Eliwood, plus five. He acts as sort of like a buffer. I don't actually know what Leaf's role is here, MB. He doesn't really do anything. I mean, he's just kind of a protector of Eliwood, I guess. His his vulnerability is a Razzle Dazzle healer. He doesn't have a lot of speed, and he's got really bad res. So that's how I'm going to take him down. Thrasir is a plus five sturdy impact. We've got another one over here. And then the crown jewel of the map, Alarsai, who's getting plus attack and a bunch of death. Just ridiculous stats. Just a lot of ridiculous stats. <laughs> Let's see how we do it. I do have a solution. It took me a little bit of doing this during the Super Bowl, MB. <laughs> so, thanks for that. I did test this for a fair bit. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we're going to let them escape this prison on the left. And then I'm going to have to deal with Lar Sai, Lar C, Lar as, as fast as I can. And I'm going to bait the thrust years with a versa she's actually got really good stats to deal with her but we're gonna need to go stack quite a bit okay as I mentioned I'm gonna break through this left side so they eventually will start escaping on their own and I'm gonna plop an aversa here who's getting a goad from Loki I 
freaking moon bower. Thanks for letting me have the moon bow. So, leaf broke through. We're going to let them come at us. And I'm going to step back and use my flyer formation to get to where Naga is so I can get Divine Fang. That will come into play because we want to give Naga some Divine Fang bonuses with her preferred weapon. We're going to try to make sure this Larcy doesn't double us. And I actually am running chill speed in reverse on accident. Once again, I'm normally like driving, running drive attack to get some uh, buffs for Altina. But in this case, we actually need it for the, the speed of this thing. So she doesn't double us because, I mean, Naga's great. And it's a little sad that she's got this much defense and can't stop this. But when you've got these things stacking, it's no fun. All right, so Averse is hurt. We're going to need to heal her. And it's going to be real close. But we're going to barely survive this. Ouchies. We can finish her off now. Get our Naga restored. And it's time to face the boss. Of course. You have my trust. What, do I want, what do I want to do with you, Altina? Hmm. Don't really think it matters. You're not running any buffs, so I guess come down here. Alright, here we go. Can we take this? <laughs> it's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but she doesn't get the double and without the double we have a chance so it looks like we're dead oh no we're six short but if we attack from where we're standing we're getting this goad and this goad and that is just barely good enough to finish her and we can finish leaf off but I am kind of stuck I don't have a drawback to get out of the way so we're just going to have to hope that 73 bulk is good enough. <laughs> uh, just barely 72 if I do my math right. Ellie Wood doesn't get the, the kill there. Got to move Altina out of the way. And then, well, this is going to be tough to get all this ether. Let's see if I can pull it off. We really need this Duma to come down. I don't know who he's tracking. Sometimes he goes after Loki. Sometimes he goes after one of these two. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. He's going down now. That's good. But if he goes up and tracks Loki, she's dead. We don't know what the traps are. That tactics room's gonna hurt us. But I suppose we could test it. If it's the trap, okay. Somebody else can break this. We can repo with Naga. Should have it. It is the trap. We can break that. He went after Loki, but yeah, okay, never mind. I can just run away. And we've got it. We've got it, guys. We beat MB's boss team. That was fun. Thanks for that. I really appreciate something fun. I like that. It was hard, but it was not Infantry Pulse. Thank you, MB, for not making me fight Infantry Pulse for the hundred millionth time. <laughs> Let's go next to Asteris, and then we'll get right on our way. Asteris has a fairly, well, it's not fairly straightforward, but I would say, you know, you're gonna, it's pretty common. You're going to see a lot of Thrasiers and Dumas together. Um, we've got Selkie with a Rally Trap. Lelina with a Glacies ready to go. Ouch Pouch with this Quicken Pulse. Somebody's, oh, Hector's here to help her get that Glacies. And then a Renea. I don't know what Renea does. I guess she, also, she runs Infantry Pulse and she also helps prevent people from sniping. All right, I think that should do it. I'm gonna have to wait a turn because Duma's gonna do some chip damage. I wanna get rid of this Dark Shrine. And man, 
I would say one thing you should really do is I would prioritize the dark shrine from being damaged versus the bright shrine. You're going to want defense, especially in a tanky setup. I, if, if you put this over here, I don't think this solution works because Lelina is just going to be able to break free and I can't deal with all the hits. Thrasher is going to beat me later, but that's not what you did, so... I'm going to break through this stuff and just wait a turn. One other comment I would make is get rid of this Fae statue because you're helping me here. I'm assuming this is a trap because you've got a lunge trap, but maybe it's not. And maybe this is a gamble. Maybe if you change the trap. So there's three things. You could change the trap. If this isn't the trap, you could move the position of these shrines, and then you could also move that Fae statue out of the way. Those are all three things that would help mitigate... A, def um, a tanking team beating this. So if I see that lunge and I see this rally trap's gonna happen, what I could do is put corn there so when he gets lunge, he's still in place to help. Let's rock and roll to fight this Selkie. Is it the trap? It wasn't the trap. That would have been the trap. Who knows? But it wasn't. <laughs> and this is why it works. Kane can beat Selkie straight up. I've now got quite enough HP and a soul ready to go. So I'm feeling pretty confident that I can tank this incoming Thrasier hit times two. It hurts, but I got some HP. She's still alive. She's gone now, and now it's a race to get the ether. Get that one real quick. We're gonna let the dancer hit us because there is no longer any rally traps. That's going to have to have to happen there. Have to have to happen? I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. So I can do that and smite. And then deal with, oh, well, I kind of wanted that, but let's, go. let's see if Corn can get involved. Did an admirable, admirable job. And then Naga can finish the Duma. And that is my solution to Asteris and MB's teams. Thanks, everyone, for fighting me this week. If you want to be a part of next week's light season, pretty full up already, so... You can count where we're at. You can try to figure out what day you're going to be on based on... We do two a day, so... What is that? 14 a week? So, just take a look at my video description details for how to be a part of my daily video series. Alright, 13 minutes, not bad. Let's do some summoning, and then we'll... This could be two fights, it could be three fights, it could be four fights. Could it be four fights? Actually, no, I think three is the maximum. We've got a new banner, a new focus banner. This is the day, this is the 24 hour banners. Uh, this is one of the worst banners in the game that we've had, I think. I might go green just because I want a green. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go green because I want to race in. Race in? Getting so many echidnas and Rosses. What, what is happening? Just give me a freaking race it. It's a Soren. I guess that's water sweet fodder at this point, Soren. Don't know what else I need you for. I'm gonna stop. Uh, I don't know if I want to summon on this. I do have all four of these units. If I got something good, I mean, I, don't, I really don't even know what I want. Don't even know what I want. Blue and red. Don't want all. Them. So we're gonna go bloom. Did I say bloom? Man, what is with me today? I can't speak. What the hell's a bloom? Hey Cordelia, looking forward to your, to your resplendent version? No. I don't understand how resplendent works. Does it work on every version of Cordelia? Well, she's on a horse, or she's on a she's on a flying horse. So does the horse get resplendent too? Pegasi. We'll see. Surely. I can't speak today. We'll see short short enough. 
<laughs> this, this is not voting well for today's fight. All right. Summoning's done. News is done. There's no other news to talk about. I'm going to go public because I don't have two rematches, and this scares the hell out of me because I, I just not had a good week. Unfortunately, we've had such a great week on defense, it's put our offense in a bad position. It's one of the reasons why I don't like defense. I would rather just turtle along and barely win. I, I'm a little scared because our, I don't know, 62-week <laughs> streak of being top 3,000 is at stake if we manage to just blow this one. I honestly should really rather do this at the end of the day so I can at least try to have a higher rank so this fight is maybe a little easier. Hell, and maybe we'll get lucky and someone's just going to change their defense to some joke team. This is it, guys. This is it. There are no ladders. Let's do it. 25 doesn't necessarily mean 27. But it's a plus 10 Ike. That's something I don't really want to see. And I don't really want to see all that kanji. The more kanji I see, the more scared I get. That's just generally how my feelings work toward that. Okay, it's a meme team. Someone who really likes Ike. Like, super, like, really, really likes Ike. Like, really. Like, a lot. <laughs> well, um, okay. We do have Altina. Do any of them have a uh, distant uh, or uh, no counter? None of them have no counter, so, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's an armor smasher, so that's scary. I kind of want to go Altina simply because Altina can break you, and then we can get a Fjorm maybe to deal with the Ike. We can't lose this fight, and this is tough. <laughs> And there's a lot of healing. <laughs> what the hell am I fighting? Uh... Okay. If we somehow manage to beat the Ike, we're going to have to deal with... God, what's, what's Altina's speed? 34 speed... Okay, this Ike's gonna take the chill if we get one. Oh, never mind, that one is. Attack speed bonds, we'll deal with 39. I don't think a an Altina can deal with that attack. This is 54 attacks, it's gonna be doubled on the magic side if we went with her here. <sighs> 18, uh, maybe, maybe. I'm, I'm getting no res boosts. This is not a this is not a joke team. This is a difficult team. <laughs> this is a difficult team with a bunch of rallies, with an infantry pulse, with ethers. This is just a, a sustained team. I need to get rid of that mist. And how the hell do I do that? And we could have a Fjorm stop her so she can't heal. But here's the problem. I come in here with an Altina, Ike hits me, and then I die to mist. Right? I need like a Loki so she doesn't move. But I don't have a Loki. <laughs> I do have a Loki. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have Wings of Mercy? No, no Wings of Mercy. No Wings of Mercy anywhere. So I could break this from here. Ike comes there, and Altina should beat the crap out of him because, because of her weapon. Should stop that 80%. And then you won't be able to go. So how the hell can I break this thing? Get out of the way. Okay, I need to have like a Naga come here and then Altina repo. I don't think this is possible with... Um, with um, Kane and... and and Corrin. Highest attack. I don't believe we're going to get chilled. Valtina. She's got 48. No, not even close. I'm convinced it's Team 3, guys. It's been Team 3 all week, basically. I wish I had a smite. 
Maybe, I don't know. Trying to see if I can do this turn one and I just don't think it's possible. We're gonna get everything off, so that's something. I just gotta get rid of that mist. Thankfully, Altina can beat the crap out of her, but we don't wanna deal with Ike. We just need one pot, so I'm gonna avoid that one if I can. I mean, I can break it, but how do I get you out? I wanna buff up Altina as much as I can. Again, no Wings of Mercies, right? Nope. How sad is this person that Altina exists? <laughs> I, I can't do it on turn one. I just don't think it's possible. I mean, do you see anything? Again, because if I come here with Altina, I'm going to get blasted by that mist. Now, maybe Ike's just not going to do any damage to me. And I'm not... I shouldn't worry about it. But there's that Ike. I can't deal... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just not going to work. I can't do that. What does Fjorm want to do? Do we want to just like sit here to make sure that like Mist can't go? It's a 60 trap, so that will affect Fjorm, so I don't really want to move her there. Getting rid of the Dark Shrine maybe sounds like a good idea. I don't know. I just really don't know what I want to do here. Again, I need Aversa to be here. So, let's do that, I guess. I guess we can shut down Mist. Oh, it's a restore trap. Why what? Oh, okay. Well, that ruins everything, guys. I needed to have Fjorm there so Mist doesn't come after me, and now she is. But she is being chilled. Why are you being debuffed? Because of you. So 46, let's look at this again. 51, 51 is... 15, I, I mean, I should be okay, but I don't want to vantage Ike. He needs to get, oh, that it ruined everything, <laughs> no. Mm. Okay, maybe we pivot, maybe we do, some, do something different. This is a distant counter Ike, though. They're all distant counter, except that one. Oh, man, I didn't see the restore trap. <sighs> if I fail, I'm dead. <laughs> but I, I can't wait. I, I can't wait. It's going to take too long to kill all these things. Yes. I'm going to lose my... Attack if I throw a verse up there. And I cannot get hit by that Ike. I just can't have that happen. I just gotta go for it now. I don't have a choice.
This is gonna hit me, and I hope I can survive it. I got panicked, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Now she's in my face, I can beat her. This is nice. You're not gonna be able to go, so I should be able to beat this Ike. get rid of that healing tower but I can't this isn't bad this isn't bad I should be able to beat two of you I don't really like the fact that that Ike's gonna get healed so maybe I should just no, I can't can't do it I could I could hit you beat you with a versa but then that leaves Ike open to hit me so the safest thing does seem to be just sit here with Altina. Does anybody have hardy bearing? No hardy bearings. You're not coming. These two should die. And then someone's gonna deal with his Ike. I don't know who yet. I hope I'm not not seeing something. <laughs> I don't think I'm missing anything. I'm not going to get the triple goat off because of that thing. So thank you. I could get the triple goat off. Triple goat. Oh, barely. Jeez. She didn't get her special off because of that. It's still, we're still out of the woods yet because they're going to keep getting healed. And you're an infantry unit. That's some pretty poor defense. If I use my special, I don't know if you'll die in one shot. Here's the thing, guys. I think we've beat it, at least. That, that is good. We beat it. I think we beat it. I don't see a way this Ike can survive with all these hits. Now it's just a matter of how confident I am and vantaging this Ike. I can throw a Versa up there. I could heal. Should I heal? I don't know. I'm going to one-shot you. Let's figure it out. 40% of units res. My res. My res is going to be an extra 12 damage. I think I'll actually not kill you. In the interest of not one-shotting him, I'm not going to throw a Versa up there yet. So I'm going to do this. It wasn't a one-shot. Good. No vantage. Now let's goad it up. Still can't move. I don't need the ether. Let's find some happiness, guys. Can we happiness this? Oh, we got healed. Yes! Crappy defense. We won! <laughs> we beat that ridiculous team. Thank you, Altina. I hate this guy. Oh, okay. I, well, here's the good news. I think we've got top 3,000 even if we lose. So but now we definitely have a chance at top 1,000 if we can win this bonus fight because this week has been awesome in terms of d defense. Ice Flash, I think you're going to do it for me, man. This is it. It's a beast team. That sounds awful, but it's better than an infantry pulse team or some Duma teams. I mean, what do you guys think? Should I try this team? What would you guys pick? Clearly a good player with plus 10 Dumas. 
Another Duma. I'm gonna go Ice Flash. Iced Flash. Maybe not a good idea. 26. Chill speed. Okay, double Dumas. Double Dancers. I think I can beat this. I don't know if I will be able to perfect it, but I think I can beat it. We're not going to lose Healing Tower, which is awesome. Rally speed means that, well, Tiburn's coming here. Oh, I found a real big weak point. Right? Isn't that a huge weak point? We can beat Lucina. They can't get through. Wings of Mercy, yes, but Micaiah can't jump. There's no one that's going to make her jump. So we can bait Lucina right there. Tipburn will come. Dance. One, two, three. We can pick him off. Isn't this a huge flaw? What am I missing? I mean, what am I missing? Is there some way Micaiah can jump there? Yeah, Tiburn can get there eventually. I I I don't I don't see the problem. It's unfortunate the Dark Shrine's over there, but I mean, as long as you can tank the Lucina, like what am I missing? She doesn't have an impact skill. If she had an impact skill, maybe I couldn't one-shot her, and then Wings of Mercy happens. I don't know. Team one, guys. I think we're going to be able to close this out. Oh, wow. But let's not get too excited before it happens. Don't need the ether. I want Kane in there so I can get healed. Thanks, Duma. Everyone's going to get healed. Is there any restore traps? We almost got destroyed by that restore trap last time. I can't believe I didn't see that. No one is going to move, so Future Vision isn't going to do anything. Again, the rally speed is here. I just can't leave anybody there. One, two, three. Nobody can end at this spot. R remind me. That's not what I want. I just, I'm not even listening to myself. All right. Whatever, I can smite up, I think. God has blessed my steps. Yes. We don't need that ether. Well, should we break it? Should we break something so, so, just so we can move? No, because then the Tibbert's going to come, so I'm just going to do that. Of course. I don't see why I can't put Naga there, and I need it. Yes. As we just mentioned, this space is out of range. Let's do... I mean, I, am I missing something? Just what, what am I missing? Okay. Okie dokie. Kaya is not going to be able to hurt me too much. I'm just going to stay here and I think maybe put a Naga here. Just in case that Tiburn breaks free somehow.
Okay, we still gotta beat that Tiburn somehow, and I don't know when he's gonna get here. He just keeps flying around. But now, I think we can start picking him off. There's nothing they can do to stop that. You got a gale force off, damn it. Ah, well, there goes our perfect week. That sucks. That really sucks. Man, I just that Tibber is a pain in the ass. Can I beat you? Yes. Looks like it. I what's different about these two? What is your I just don't want you to one-shot me. It will be done. I can't get out of here. Yes. I don't have fury on this one. What is your desire? God has blessed my steps. Of course. I'll just be done with it. I'll just be done with it. It's, it's over. It's over. Thanks, Ice Flash. You really you ruined my ending there. But we've still got a chance to get top a thousand. Damn, that's too bad. That would have been maybe my highest Astra ever, but I got hit by a Gale Force Tibern. He just I could not track where he was going without jumping. He was doing. All right, guys. Let me know how your week went. I, I, we made it out alive. That's all I wanted to do. We made it out alive. We have a chance to top a thousand. Let's take a look at standings for top 50. And maybe, maybe my friends list here. Fix Mythic Bug. I don't think it's a bug. I think it's a feature. Yet again, the top 50 is dominated by... Japanese players, which isn't surprising. I think it's this game is much more popular in the East than it is in the West. If you know anybody on there, give them a shout out. I'm happy with where we ended up. Wow, 13,700. That's impressive. I think we're going to fight Randy next week. Welcome to the friends list, Randy. I almost beat Luna. I should have. Man, that, my, minus 40 was awful. And I, I actually lost four points because I was running Altina teams that weren't, weren't efficient. So, oh, it makes me sad. Maybe Luna hasn't played yet. MB, we just fought them today. Yeah, I wish I could do this later in the day so these, these uh, leaderboards would be more reflective of where... Man, so you guys had a rough week. I got, or again, maybe you guys haven't fought yet, but I don't see a lot of people in the 13,000s. Maybe you'll get there. We'll just do top 50 for my friends list. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you have any comments for me or anything I can do to help out, anything Ether Rage related, anything about the game, anything about life, anything about anything, whatever. I'm here to comment. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't. Bye.